Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. Welcome to this video on General Writing Task 1. The first step to getting a high score for Task 1 is to understand the format of an IELTS letter. This video covers all the basic information you need to know. It includes key information, formal and informal letters, letter topics, assessment and marking criteria, letter structure and sample questions. First, the key information. 1. You must write 150 words or more. If you write less than 150 words, you're unlikely to get more than the band 5 for task achievement, as you won't have fulfilled the marking criteria. 2. You have around 20 minutes to plan and write your essay. 3. Task 1 contributes half as many marks to your score as Task 2. So, Task 1 is worth 33% of the total mark in the writing test. For general writing Task 1, you must write a letter requesting information or explaining the situation in relation to a specific circumstance. You should write in a style appropriate to the situation. When writing to someone you don't know or don't know well, Use a formal tone and style. When writing to a friend or close family member, use an informal tone and style. It's essential that you're able to identify whether a question is formal or informal, as you will use different language to create a different tone in each style of letter. Many students get stressed about this, but it's very simple. Follow this rule. If the question includes the word friend, use informal language. If the question does not include the word friend, use formal language. The only exception is if the letter is to a close family member, when you would use an informal tone, but these are not common. Here's an example of each style of question. Pause the video and read through them. In the informal question, you have to write to a friend. In the formal question, you have to write it to a manager. Students are often taught to use a third letter writing style, the semi-formal tone. If you're already familiar with it and can use it correctly, then that's fine. However, my advice is to use only formal or informal tones as appropriate. I believe in keeping things simple and having a third style option only complicates matters. Many questions require you to write to a colleague or manager in your business, both of whom could be friends. In this instance, assume that they are not and write the letter in a professional style, that is, in a formal tone. The other situation that can be confusing is where the person you have to write to is a neighbour. Again, assume that you do not know them very well and keep the letter formal. If you follow the general rule of only writing an informal letter when the question contains the word friend, you won't go wrong. Your exam question will be on one of seven topics. A request, a letter of complaint, an apology, a letter of explanation, an application or resignation letter, an invitation or a letter to make an arrangement. You'll find individual lessons on all of these on the website and my YouTube channel. As with all other parts of the IELTS exam, General Writing Task 1 is marked according to four criteria. These are Task Achievement, which is Appropriate Response to the Task, Coherence and Cohesion, the ability to present a well-structured essay or letter, Lexical Resource, the ability to use a range of appropriate vocabulary and to use it correctly, and grammatical range and accuracy, which is the ability to use grammar correctly and to use a range of grammar forms. Each carries 25% of the marks. The examiner will use these criteria when marking your letter. I cover the marking criteria in detail in other lessons, but here's a brief overview of what you'll be assessed on. Your letter will assess your ability to engage in personal correspondence and will be assessed in relation to one or more of these skills. Elicit and provide general factual information. Express needs, wants, likes and dislikes. 
or express opinions, for example views or complaints. Before we look at how to structure a letter, we'll first examine the structure of the question. The structure of the question will always be the same. Part 1 is the topic, part 2 the person you must write to, and part 3 what you should write about, which will be listed as three bullet points. Here's another sample question. I've used the same colour coding to highlight the three different parts. Recognising the three parts will help you to quickly analyse the question and plan your answer. Pause the video again and study it for a moment. The layout of your letter should essentially follow the structure of the question and consist of four paragraphs with a greeting at the beginning and a sign-off at the end. Here's an easy to remember six part structure. Start with the greeting which will be dear whoever you're writing to. In paragraph one state the purpose of the letter that is your reason for writing. In paragraph two write about bullet point one. In paragraph three write about bullet point two and in paragraph four write about bullet point three. Then finally Sign off your letter. Now that you understand the task 1 letter format, you're ready to learn how to plan your letter and what to write. I recommend watching the planning video next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video soon. Goodbye for now.